Right, we haven't done one that is this specifically focused on kind of mental health and all that stuff for a while. And I saw a few people asking me just to mention this specifically, so I thought, you know what? That is just what I'm going to do. So welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Simon Miller, and yeah, we do random vlogs on here. So thank you very much for giving me your time and for giving me yeah, just a few minutes of your life. I really do appreciate it. And it's nice and simple one today. You would have seen from the title but I, I, sometimes I think even the obvious things need to be said, or certainly it seems that way in an age where social media are going crazy and people saying whatever they want, using their voice, some for good and some for bad. But the most interesting thing, and someone actually mentioned to me specifically, but I'd certainly seen it myself, is this idea that there is right, I'm not saying that there's right or wrong, but I see a lot of people kind of saying, well, this is, literally saying this is right and this is wrong. These aren't morally, morally ambiguity things. These aren't oh, you know, if you do this, it's going to have a, a detriment on somebody else, which is always my thing, and it's what we're going to talk about today. You should be able to do whatever, you should be able to live your life and do whatever the hell you want that makes you happy, because it's your life and nobody else within your sphere of influence should be able to affect that negatively, and if they do, you should take them and move them over here. Over here is away from the situation. Now, if what you're doing is upsetting somebody else, then that's not fair, because your happiness is calling sadness elsewhere, but usually positively charged happiness won't do that. Anyway, my point being, I said anyway twice then, my point being is nice and simple. Genuinely, I look right down the lens when I say this. No matter how you want to live your life, no matter what it is that you want to do, you should be able to do it. And it is as simple as that. It doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is. It doesn't matter uh, which gender you'd like to be. It, I'm just trying to think. It doesn't matter what sport you like. It doesn't matter which hobbies you have. It doesn't matter if you're a 42-year-old dude and you want to watch My Little Pony. I just take that one because it's two of those, you know, it's kind of stereotypes there where people go, oh, you can't possibly do that. Ties into someone the other day. He said, Miller, you, you're in your 30s and you still watch wrestling. And I was like... You're however old you are, and you still question people like that. It's like, why do you care? Why do you care? To me, the only reason people ever question things like that is because they don't have anything in their own life. And so they, again, they, this is what I'm talking about. If what pleases them is trying to negatively affect others, then that's not cool. And we should have a conversation about whether they should be able to live that life the way, because they shouldn't. My point being is that no one should be able to bring you down a peg, ever, ever. And if they are, something has gone horribly wrong. Because let's say... You are, we'll stick, with it. we'll stick with it. Let's say you are a 42-year-old man and you want to watch My Little Pony because you love it. You like the stories, like the characters. You know, you're a brony or whatever the, that thing is. I watched the documentary on it once. Uh, and even that documentary, you know, that documentary is where like, oh, aren't these people weird? No. Again, if they're not hurting anyone, you just let them get on with it. But again, there's this idea that you shouldn't be doing certain things because you're a certain age or it doesn't work or it doesn't make sense. I'm like, are you, are you crazy? Are you kidding me? Like, it still blows my brain that it's 2019 and some people have problems with homosexuals. It's like, why do you even... I mean, no, you should care. It's important to care. But how on earth we can get to, the, get to a stage where that people turn their noses up and like, oh, that shouldn't be happening. Well, okay, by that token, say you're a heterosexual person that has a problem and you shouldn't be a heterosexual. They are, you know, people that are, are, are gay are more than allowed to have that opinion. If you're allowed to have the opinion that that is wrong. It's like a tennis game, right? It's like, life is like a tennis game. If you're able to say that, they're able to retort it to you. And I understand it's because, uh, you know, it's, it's to do with prosecution and it's to do with the, the struggles that people have had to go through or groups of people have had to go through to try and get parity and try and get uh, fairness and try to try and get rights, which is, which is awful. And that always does change the situation. Of course it does. You know, if you are in a minority group, I'll use that term for lack of a better one, then you do need to make more noise and, and you do need to you know, do protests and parades or, or whatever it is that works in order to get your voice heard. Of course you do, because you're fighting from a downward position. And I, I understand I'm kind of not looking at it from, from that. I'm, I'm not, certainly not saying that that shouldn't happen at all. I'm, you know, I'm making it sound like you, you flip a light switch and it all gets better. But I'm just talking from a mentality point of view, not from a physical here's what we have to do point of view, but from a mentality point of view. And I think maybe it's a generational thing, but it still doesn't work you know, that way. And of course, it's always to do with the family structure. If these ideas are being passed down from one generation to the next, that's usually how such stuff as, as bigotry or even things like social situations still become a problem. If you've been told a certain thing from your youth, it's going to be up to that person to try and rewire their brain, and most people, most people won't do that. But just from you know me sitting in my little house here talking, it it I find it. I mean, I don't find it astonishing because I understand how the world works, and I have to be ignorant to find it astonishing. But when I come down to do a vlog like this after again, someone has got in touch with me and said, "I'm not going to get into specifics," but said, "I live my life this way," and I basically I get bullied. That's what happens, and people don't let me. I just. 
then it, 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 it doesn't, again, you, I, I, just to repeat myself, you'd have to be ignorant to pretend it doesn't go on. That's half the problem, right? It's what I've said before. The reason we should always talk about like World War II and wars in general and tragedies is so that they don't happen again. I think I mentioned the Holocaust last time. It's important to always talk about the Holocaust, as awful as it is, because as soon as you forget, that's when the pieces can go back in place for it to, to happen twice, and that can just never happen. So you always need to keep the conversation going. But it's still... I guess the naive part of me when I'm actually faced with it, I still just, it just shouldn't be happening. And again, who, who am I? What, what, what difference is this going to make? Probably nothing, but it doesn't mean that we can't talk about it. And it just, it just shouldn't. It just, and I find it like that. I, I, for a man that usually never runs out of words, I just think it sucks, man. I just think it sucks so bad that if you know who you are and you know what you want to do and you're not hurting anybody else and yet you still have to walk through a bunch of crap to get there, that's not what life is all about, or at least it shouldn't what be life is about, but again, the reason this all ties in, and this is why I do this vlog series, this is why I talk about that stuff, because I get it's a small platform and it's not going to change the world, but hopefully, if we all started doing this and we all started chatting about it, all of a sudden our voices together, well that could just make, you know, make people start listening. And so that's what it was. It was more of a reaction to, to what somebody said to me. And having, I guess, I guess I took a moment to actually try and stand in their shoes and try and empathize, or sympathize, I should say, as much as possible. And you are just like, yeah, you just want to be able to live. You just want to be able to be happy. You just want to be able to use the short time you do have on this earth to you know, get through every day as best as you can. And of course, the, the tie in there is when it does come to stuff like mental health and anxiety and depression. If you get told over and over again, you, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. And yet deep down, you're kind of like, is it, is it wrong? I don't think it is. I feel like I'm just you know, making my own choices and going with my you know, biological clock or whatever this is telling me. This is my gut speaking to me. Surely I should be able to do that. And you should. And yet there are still some people out there, again, I think because they're coming from a negative place. I do think that's the, that's the thing. They, don't, they probably don't have much in their lives and for some reason have decided to try and pull everybody down to their level. And yeah, to a certain extent, you do need to ignore that. But then I do think it comes to a point, depending on what we're talking about, when you have to fight about it, I mean, physically, but you have to make sure, again, you have to talk about it. Because if we don't, we just established all of that. So it's more of a rant, this one. More of a rant and a rave, <laughs> kind of, you know, throwing my hands around. I mean, I guess I kind of have a personal experience in the sense that, as we, again, we talked about here on these vlogs, that I'm Jewish, and I heard stories from my grandparents, and I had a little bit of it when I was in school. It was nothing too bad, thank goodness, but it did happen. I think I told the story when I was working in the cinema. I used to get on with this guy really well. He found out I was Jewish, and he just said, oh, I don't like Jewish people. And I was like, well, you seem to like me before all of this, so maybe it actually doesn't make a difference. But he did. He stopped talking to me. So I do have, you know, I do have a, a certain a bit, but everyone's got different experiences, but that's just my experience of it. But ever since then, it did make me, a, you know, it really made me think that that's something that goes on every day. And some people have it far, 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 far worse. And again, this is the reason I wanted to sit down and just, well, it has been a rant, but I just wanted to rant into a microphone and rant into a camera. So hopefully we can all come together and go, yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where, it's that cliche, you can't ever deal, you know, you don't get to deal your own cards throughout life, but what you can do is take the cards you are dealt and deal with them, too much was used to the word deal, but deal with them as best as you can. Uh, and that may be from a passive sense, that may be, you know, going the other way and actually, you know, fighting back against this stuff. But I do think maybe this is more for people that kind of feel knocked down by that kind of stuff. I know it's not going to reach a massive amount of, you know, a massive amount of people, but hopefully even one person that hears this, that you know, maybe this bolsters you up a bit, maybe it's just nice to hear, maybe you feel like you're having a conversation with me, which is the way I always try and frame these. Hopefully then, yeah, maybe it does a little something. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know, that you, you can't account for that stuff, but that's certainly, uh, that's certainly the idea. Sucks though sometimes, doesn't it, the world? I try and be a positive guy, and I am a positive guy. I'm always glass half full, uh, again, because I get it that you don't, you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, so you can long for it as much as possible and then get there and then something worse happens. You're like, oh boy. So it's best just to take everything hour by hour, moment by moment, minute by minute. And sometimes that can be really tough though, especially when life is dragging you down. So hopefully just a big shout and <laughs> a big shout and throwing your hands in the air with me. Maybe it helped just, just a little bit. I'm not saying it's going to change anything. But again, to that person, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to sell you out, but that person that got in touch... That was for you, my friend, and thank you very much for chatting with me. Uh, I appreciated it. You know all the YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, hang around uh, for other videos, should you so wish. You just hit subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll do another one of these soon. I hope very much. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.